Hey guys, it's Sarah and today is Booklist Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we are continuing with our series of our favorite authors and telling you what our favorite books are from our favorite authors. So this week I want to talk about Karen Slaughter. She has quickly become a favorite author of mine. She's quickly become an auto buy author <laughs> for me. So if she has a new book coming out, I'm going to buy it. I don't care what it's about. I have absolutely adored her writing. Now, I have also not read everything that she has written yet. And that's because she does have a longer series. She actually has two different series that merge together. And I'm working on those. So I have not read the entirety of that series yet, but I have started. So I can definitely talk about her standalone books and then I'll talk about the series as well. Okay, so we're just going to start with my number one favorite book written by Karen Slaughter, which is also one of my favorite books of all time, which is Pretty Girls. I loved this book so much. I read it a couple years ago. Well, a few years ago now, probably. And this book follows a woman who is... Uh, dealing with the death of her husband. And in the aftermath of his death, she is finding out that he was involved in some things that she never knew about and some things that are very disturbing. And so she's trying to unravel that piece of everything. Now, at the same time, something happened with her and her family in the past where her older sister went missing from college and her body was never found. She's presumed dead. It's been a very long, a very long process for them that they've been dealing with almost, you know, their whole lives since their childhood. And so that's something that kind of lingers and kind of pops up every so often as well. And some things start happening in her life that kind of echo her sister's disappearance. So she's starting to get suspicious about things that are happening around her and what's going on. The reason I loved this book so much was that it shocked me. <laughs> I mean, it was jaw dropping, body quaking, shiver like I was shivering at one point, just I had physical reactions to this book. And not only because of the story, but also because of the content, you guys. Uh, I will say this is probably one of the most disturbing books I've ever read as far as graphic content goes. So if you don't like really gory things or really disturbing images in your head, I would probably stay away from it. So I don't recommend it to everybody. <laughs> but if you can handle things like that, please pick it up if you haven't already. It was so good. And there are scenes in that book that I can very, very vividly remember still, even though some of them I don't want to because they are disturbing, but they made an impact. They definitely made an impact. And I, um, I put it down at one point and I had to set it to the side and like, you need to sit in the corner for a minute and think about what you just did to my brain because whew, it was a lot, but I loved it. I had such a reaction to it. And to me, that's the makings of a great book. And it's one of my favorites of all time, hands down. Okay. Another one of her standalones that I really, really enjoyed is The Good Daughter. And this one it's definitely not as graphic. So if you want to read Karen Slaughter, this could be a really good one to start with if you haven't read her yet, because there's a couple of violent scenes in here, but nothing gory or gruesome. So I will say that um, it, it's nothing near what Pretty Girls was. Uh, so this one I would recommend to a lot of people if you want to give Karen Slaughter a try. And this one follows a set of sisters and one sister has moved away and one sister has stayed in their hometown working for her dad, you know, kind of just being there. And then her other sister has kind of like fled, if you will. But the other sister comes back um, because of just different circumstances and they find themselves in situations where they are dealing with the death of their mother, which happened when they were young and they were witnesses to it. So they're dealing with some things because of that. And they are also dealing with a local school shooting that happens in their town. And it's all kind of tied in somehow. And so you kind of follow that story, you watch it unravel. Um, and then you're also getting some of the backstory as well. You're getting some scenes from their childhood when their mother was killed and, you know, how it all kind of ties in together. So 
It was really good. I really, really enjoyed that one. I read through it really quickly, even though it's a pretty chunky book. Um, but yeah, it was good. The next one I have is Pieces of Her. And this one is in the process of being adapted. I don't think it's out yet, but I think Netflix is adapting it. And this one follows more of a mother-daughter dynamic and their relationship and seeing how they both grew up and who they surrounded themselves with growing up. And you're finding the daughter realizing that her mother is not who she thinks she is and that she's been hiding a lot of secrets in her life, a lot of secrets from her. You see how the mother has gotten to the point where she has gotten. So you do get like flashback scenes and, you know, past scenes and stuff. So it was really good. It was one that I wasn't sure where it was going the whole time, which is great because you're just sitting here trying to piece things together, if you will. Pardon the pun. But yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed that one too. She does have another standalone, which is Cop Town, <laughs> which I have like right there, that white book right there, Cop Town. I have not read that one yet, so I can't really speak to it, but I do have that one to read. And then the rest of her books are part of the series that she has written. So I have read the first two books. It starts with Blindsided. And um, this one is the start of a series that involves um, the main character, Sarah Linton, and she is living in a small town in Georgia. She is a pediatrician and she's also a coroner for this small town. That's how small this town is. She plays both roles and you see her start to investigate or help with the investigation of a woman who was killed in a diner in their town. That's what this one surrounds. And then Sarah really finds herself kind of getting involved in a lot of these cases that are happening that are close to her, people that she knows. She is previously married to the chief of police and they have kind of an on again, off again relationship still. Um, so like their relationship is not necessarily over, but he's also like hasn't treated her the best. So you see her dealing with that and, you know, kind of up and down with him throughout the books. And it's very interesting. So um, this one in particular definitely was a little bit gruesome. There was a pretty big murder scene in here and she goes into details about it. So this was, there's a little more on the gory side with this as well. And then book two, which was Kiss Cut, um, that one had a very, very heavy topic on... Um, child abuse and child molestation. So there's, you know, if that's something you're uncomfortable with, be aware that the second book really goes into that type of thing. There's a storyline about that in there. But um, it was a little hard. <laughs> it was hard to read that one, but still very, very good. Um, and I'm excited to keep on going with Karen Slaughter and her series. So this one, this series in particular has six books. And then I believe the sixth book um, has a cross character of Will Trent. And then from then on, it's the Will Trent series. And I believe Sarah's involved in that as well. So they kind of merge together, but they're also separate series, if you will. Uh, so I just wanted to start at the beginning because I want to read Karen Slaughter's entire list of books that she has written. And uh, so I'm just kind of going in order in the series. So I'm working my way through this one still. I've only read the first two books, but I do plan to continue. Um, she does have another book coming out very soon called False Witness, and that's a standalone as well. So I'm very excited about that one. Um, I will be probably ordering that one after our move because I think it's coming out while we're in transit. So I can't really like pre-order it. But as soon as we get to Virginia, I'm probably going to be ordering that book so I can read it because super excited about that one. Hey, and that is all I have for Karen Slaughter. Those are all the books that I have read. They have all been favorites of mine. And she is just an author that I really love. I love her snark. <laughs> and I love her storylines. I love that she is not afraid to hurt her characters. She is not afraid to tell you the gory details of these things. And it doesn't feel like it's there for shock value. It feels like it's there to make the story more impactful. And that's what I really like about them as well. Um, there's a purpose to all that. So She's fantastic. If you like thrillers, but not gore, maybe go for the more tame <laughs> books, which I would say Pieces of Her and Good Daughter definitely are more on the tame side. Um, a little bit more gore and more disturbing content, definitely Pretty Girls. And I would also say the series. I think you could go into those. Um, with it, It's a little darker, but very, very good. And yeah, 
that is going to be it for me today. So let me know down below if you enjoy Karen Slaughter. Have you ever read any of her books? Are you interested in any of her books? Do you want to stay far away from them? Let me know all those details down below and I will see you guys again soon. Make sure you go check out Lindsay today, see who she's talking about. I'm, I'm excited to see which author she's picked for this week and we will see you later. Have a great day.